Hi, I'm Greg Alkire, VP of Sales and Marketing from Pronk Technologies, and today I want to take a few minutes to show you something new we've been working on called Mobilize, where you can take all of your test equipment from Pronk Technologies and control and capture from it from your iOS device, either an iPad or an iPhone. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use an iPad because it's easier to see than an iPhone. But we're going to walk through a demonstration of how with Pronk Technologies Mobilize Solution, you can wirelessly control your test devices from Pronk as well as capture measurements back into an electronic record very easily, very quickly, without having to write uh, test results down and all of that can be synchronized with a CMMS system if you have one. All right, so let's take a look now at how we can do a complete PM on a vital signs monitor with the Pronk Mobilize wireless system that can run off of your iOS device, your iPad, your iPhone, either one. In this case, we're going to use the iPad because it's easier to see in the video. So let's just go ahead and get started. We're going to have a PM done from our iOS device with Bluetooth connectivity to all of our test devices. I'm going to start with a barcode scan of the device I'm about to test. Get that asset ID tied into my electronic record that's going to build as we go. Then I'm going to select the device type on the iPad. That's Vital Signs Monitors already selected and hit start. So from here, we've already started controlling our test equipment. We've got an electrical safety test started from the iOS device and that Bluetooth connection and we can actually see real time the results coming back for that electrical safety test. So just by hitting that start key we've taken control over all the test equipment that you see here, uh, the electrical safety analyzer, the SimCube NIVP simulator and the Oxim SPO2 simulator. As soon as the monitor powers up I've got a pass for electrical safety already and I can hit start on the NIBP. On the left hand side of this screen you'll see the simulated values on the right side is where you can populate the results. I'm starting the NIBP right away because while that's taking a measurement I can tap on the results box and capture my heart rate result. That's a pass. My SPO2 target is 95, result is 96. My respirate Target is 40, result is 40, invasive pressure 199, all of those parameters as soon as we got on the screen were immediately set on the test equipment because of that Bluetooth connectivity. I've got a NIBP reading now of 190 over 117 so I'm going to tap that in and I'm good to go. All of those parameters are tested and passed. If you want from the app you can actually take a picture of the vital signs monitor with those results in addition to or instead of typing in those results. There's a notes field at the bottom as well. I'm ready for my next preset. I'm done with my adult high simulated values. So now I'm moving to a, a adult normal preset screen. Be aware that um, you don't have to stick with the simulated values on the left hand column. If you need to adjust those based on a manufacturer requirement Let's say that um, SPO2 requirement is 88 instead of 90. You can actually change that simulated value. You're not stuck with it. And you can customize as you go. So now I've got a result of 60 for my ECG heart rate, 88 for my SPO2. My rest rate is 30. You don't have to put a result in. You can just tap the pass button. But it's very easy to put the result in by tapping on the tar uh, result box because we land on the target value and let you scroll quickly to the result. I'm going to skip the NIBP on the next two presets to save time for the video. Now we've got a heart rate simulation of 40, an SPO2 of 75. I'm going to silence those alarms. Heart rate's already at 40, that's a pass. The SPO2 is getting close at 75. My rest rate of 15 will take a little bit of time and so will the IBP. So just a reminder, you can change the simulated value on the left hand side. You can easily get a result in, but you don't have to. You can just tap on the pass fail button. And IBP is now at 51, which is a pass. And my rest rate is at 15. 
So I'm done with a low, mid, and high simulation for all my vital signs parameters, and I've moved into the manometer modes for testing the NIVP circuitry. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do manometer testing on the NIVP circuit on this vital signs monitor using our app. So I've already got the monitor into service mode and I've closed the valves. From our app, we've got three different selections in manometer mode. We've got leak rate, pressure accuracy, and overpressure. We're going to start with a leak rate. So I'm going to inflate the system to about 240. And I can see on my app that it is tracking the pressure of the SIM cube. Here's about 240. And so I can see my real-time SIM cube pressure right on my iOS device. And it's going to start calculating a leak rate. So we've got now a leak rate result in this box. We've got the SIM cube pressure in that box. And we've got a timer that lets us see where the time elapsed is in the leak rate testing. So we're at about 53 seconds now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit capture. You don't have to hit capture right at one minute. If it goes over one minute, you can hit capture and choose 30 seconds or one minute or a minute and a half, for example. We've gone over one minute. I'm going to hit capture. You can see here that we've got a leak rate of 8.4 at one minute, and you can toggle that between one minute and 30 seconds. I'm going to call that a pass for the purpose of this. And if I need to run a second leak rate test, there's a more button directly below that pass button. So, we've done a leak rate test. We can move on to pressure accuracy. I'm going to leave the system inflated <clears throat> at 230 millimeters of mercury or so. And I'm going to type in the pressure seen by the vital signs monitor and hit capture. Now I've got a pressure accuracy result based on the SIM cube manometer and the transducer in the NIBP circuit. On the capture screen, <clears throat> we're actually showing the delta as well as both the SIM cube pressure and the, manometer pre and the monitor pressure. So we can see a delta of 0.6 millimeters of mercury, so those two transducers are very close, and we got a pass. Now I'm ready to do an overpressure test, so I'm going to inflate the system higher and look at my peak pressure when the vital signs monitor dumped the pressure for the overpressure limit. And we can see the peak pressure was captured by the iOS device because of that real-time data coming from the SIM cube via the Bluetooth communications. I hit capture. I've now got my peak pressure at 321 captured. That's a pass and I am done. From here I can look at the entire record of all the detailed testing I just did simply by tapping through those steps on my iOS device, capturing results, controlling my test equipment.